In this relatively short video, we're going to compute expected portfolio return. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the uh, data uh, that we're going to use in this question as well as a couple of follow-on questions. The following joint probability table is given for the returns on two assets, A and B, which make up an investment portfolio in the proportions 70 and 30% respectively. And what you've got is a table where on the uh, in the columns you've got the possible returns that are um, going to be achieved by asset B. Uh, and in the rows you've got the returns achieved by asset A. And when I say returns I mean the 0 0.1, 0 0.4 or 1.3 percent return. And kind of in the middle of the table um, in the actual cells you've got the probability of each one of those scenarios happening. So, for example, this 0 0.5 means there is a 50% chance that at the same time, asset B will have a return of 2.4, whereas asset A uh, will have a return of 0 0.4. But there is absolutely no way in which asset B can have a return of 1.3 and uh, asset A can have a return of 1.3 you know, there is zero probability of those two things happening at the same time. So what you've got in the middle is those uh, joint probabilities, which when you add them up to 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3, they give 1 or 100%. Now, the expected return on the portfolio is closest to, as I said, this is a relatively easy question. But what we're going to do is we're going to build up um, from this question over what I think is going to be either three or four questions to actually get to a much more serious or uh, difficult computation, which is going to uh, include covariance, correlation, and then also portfolio variance. So uh, a lot of stuff to come with the same scenario over the next couple of recordings. Right. What's the formula for uh, expected uh, portfolio return, at least when it is presented in this in this way? Well, the expected value is simply the sum starting with, uh, you know, whatever is, uh, well, let's call this i equal to 1, uh, finishing with uh, how many different values we've got. That's going to be denoted as, um, I guess, as n, the probability of a certain value happening times that value itself, so xi. And this is a rather complicated way of saying something very, very simple. So the, let's write this down, expected return or the expected value taken on or return taken on by portfolio A is going to be simply, you know, the probability, the relevant probability like here, 0.3% sorry, not 0.3%, 30% or 0.3 times the relevant return, which is a 0.1% um, return. Then the second probability, 0.5 times the return associated with that, so 0.4. And finishing off with the last one, that's a 0.2 times 1.3. And same, so that should be a percentage sign. Now, same thing for the other one. Let's write it out before I hit the calculator. Expected return on B is 0.3 or 30% probability that B will have a result. Now, you've got to be very careful there because there's a mi little minus sitting there at the top. So let me put this in a bracket, 1.3% to signify that it's negative. Then half a percent, uh, sorry, half uh, a probability or 50% probability that it will hit a result of 2.4. And finally, a 20% or 0.2 uh, times an expected outcome of 7.8% or a possible outcome of 7.8%. So let's now do this um, on the calculator. Okay, I've got my calculator fired up. So now it's just a question of inputting the data for the expected return on asset A. We've got 0 0.3 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 times 1.3, and that gives an expected uh, return of 0.49%, bearing in mind that the reason why I can just easily 
um, type those uh, numbers in and get a result is because of my calculator is set up to uh, AOS, Algebraic Operating System, as opposed to the chain rule. If you haven't done that on your calculator, find the video um, on setting up or formatting your Texas Instruments calculator. That will show you how to do it. Now, for the next one, we're going to have 0 0.3 times 1.3, but that's a negative number. So plus minus key to insert the negative sign, plus 0 0.5 times 2.4 and plus 0 0.2 times 7.8 the final one that's a uh, that's an expected return of 2.37 percent now the question actually asked for the uh, expected return on the portfolio and here you've got to do a weighted average so let me just say over here expected return for the portfolio as such that's going to be whatever was the weight of um, the first asset so you know weight of a times its expected return so expected return on a plus the weight of b times its expected return so a very really simple formula an intuitive i guess formula to to apply the weight of a we are told is 70 percent so 0 0.7 times this result 0.49% and the weight of B 30% times over here 2.37% once again let's check on the calculator what this gives 0 0.7 times 0 0.49 plus 0 0.3 times oops 2.37 okay so the answer is 1.054%. And this is very much in line with answer C.